Good morning, my lovely Pisces. How are you doing this morning? And I'm late as I can be, but yesterday was my sister's funeral. And along with all of that, a lot of other things going down. Um, but Pisces, I made it here and it's a part of a journey that I'm going through. And since you're going through the journey with me, bear with me, okay? That's just a part of Pisces family. We rock together and this is just what it is. You got to bear with me. I never shortchange y'all. I always come no matter what. So here I am. I'm going to jump into the reading because I'm very late. And everybody's order is going out today. They put them in last week or last um, Friday. Anything that came out last Friday is coming out today. I did send somebody's order um, to the wrong person. Um, I did send y'all emails about that. So I'm sure you got the text that I sent you. If you are kindly enough, please send that back. All right. Um, thank you, though. Um, I've been having a lot on my mind, and that was my mistake. But I know you know because it's not what you order. All right. So be nice. Anyway, um, let's get going with the reading. I'm putting my eagle eye on, and um, the the new moon is about to go come on in. And actually, it comes on in on the 10th of this month, which is the day before my sister's viewing. So everything is happening like accordingly, Pisces. Um, I just want y'all to know that don't you ever, 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 ever. When Pisces Seasons came out, I bought the swords out and I show y'all the swords and then I started spraying like I was shooting up everything. And I don't do that. So if I did that, farewell the 19th on Pisces opening door, I did it for a reason. I don't do anything that I don't know what's in front of you and I. So you have to learn where you stand with people. And you cannot allow no one to step over your boundaries. Because the more you allow it, the more you sweep it under the carpet, the more damage you will be getting done to you. Do you understand? I want you to understand how important it is. It's, it's a part now that is in your life that you need to decide who means the most to you, you or them. And them is anybody and everybody. Okay? And... I talk to a lot of y'all every day, all day, and I really talk to some of y'all all the time. But I tell you my journey, and I don't tell y'all all what I what I what I've been through with my sister and her passing away, thinking it was me, and then just the deal with the um, funeral, the way that her daughter did it is not my liking; it's her daughter liking. But I just want you all to know that you may not like what is thrown at you, but it's a time and a place to say what you got to say, okay? And, and do it in a respectful way where you're not hurting someone, but you're making your point across. And it can be in anything in your life. You don't have to like A situation but you need to be responsible for your space how people treat you how you treat people what they say to you what you say to them I've learned a lot through this journey with my sister's passing I I just went through and I was telling Lisa Robinson this that I sat down with this man that's been in my life over 32 years and he's a, and I'm a very sophisticated, very intel. When I tell you intelligent, intelligent, but very thug. Okay. And guess what? My family really don't know him at all. They think he's a thug. They think he's real raw. But this man is very intelligent. When I mean intelligent, in 
intelligent. Okay? In his fields and in everything. But people don't know him. And the people that know him give him respect. He has very well mannered. He is very well respected in the street. Just like I am. I do not play. And I don't worry about no females. Females is the last thing that I ever got to worry about. I always have to battle a man. In the streets. In my life. In my business. In my career. Okay. I ain't never worry about no females. That's the last thing that I worry about. I ain't never worry about pussy. Because I got pussy. Alright. And I'm going to tell you on a level of respect. And I don't tell you that dealing with a man on a love level. I'm talking about on a respect level. On a street level. I was taught by men. And raised by women. And I wear my heart on my sleeve like a man. I don't play. And I just had a long discussion with this man. That left me in another space in my life. Because it's not how you love someone. It's not how you expect someone to love you. It's that we overthink everything in life. And we want it to be the way we want it to be. And so when we want to do that, we go to path that it takes us in a dark space in our life. When we don't have to do that. Right When you bear your soul and you take all your clothes off and you bear it to these men or whoever you're doing it with, honey, you need to find out how you bearing your soul to these people and how you see yourself. Don't wait till you die to see, be seated down and so that you can see how your life flashed in front of you and how you thought and what you've seen in someone's soul, how they felt, how they thought and did you. Don't wait till you get there. Enjoy your life while you're here and respect people's space and set boundaries for your own. And that's the way it is. You got to coexist. Do you understand? You need to understand it. My Pisces studio is about growth. If you're looking for entertainment with the, with the nonsense, then you can have anybody you want to watch. They come a dime a dozen. All right? I'm very into my spirits, and I have many of flaws. I'm not perfect. But I, what I'm telling you is the truth. I don't follow religion. I follow a way of life. Again, I have many of flaws. I want you to understand that God loves me and loves you the way you are. But you got to love yourself more than you love anyone. And do not let no one disrespect you, ever. And I don't care where it is. It's the way that you handle yourself and the way that you talk. Let's get down with the reading, Pisces. Please, Pisces, listen to me. Your life is more precious than you can imagine. Looking at my sister yesterday, me thinking what, what I was going to do, what my family was going to do, and what her daughter planted was two different things. Did it hurt me to the core? Yes, it did. But did I wanted to say something to a daughter there? I cannot. It wasn't a time. But will I tell her? Yes, I will. Yes, I will. It's a time and a place for everything. So there wasn't no tears. There was full of joy. 
because we already been through the tears. And I know that my sister wasn't there. All it was was a frame. And I treated it just exactly how it was. A frame. I've learned. Age has taught me lessons. When my mother and father passed away, I was young. I was very young. I didn't know. I was in my 20s. I didn't know. I, I'm sorry. I was in my 30s. I didn't know what life meant to live that life of eternal. What it really means to, to live and love yourself. I didn't know what that meant. I didn't know. So that's why I, I'm mourning my mother and my father. And, you know, God said, who are you mourning? What are you telling me that you know your father and your mother? Because they gave birth. They gave you. And, and you knew them because you felt them. You see them. And God said, I gave you life. I'm the one that gave you life. Your mother and your father, if I show you who they are today, you won't even know who they are. But you, you don't know me. I never again ever said that again. And I was young then. And I went through this journey like you're going through it. And this time, my sister's death, he showed me, Lisa, it was you, and you're there already. But you got a job to do right here for me. For me, he said. And that's exactly what I come to do. A job. What I was meant to do in this world. And I'm going to tell you again. I'm human. And I got many flaws. But I came to do a job. And I die by the source. Jonah Ark, Pisces. I am a warrior. And I come with y'all. And I will be with y'all to the last day of my breath. And I promise you to bring you out of hell and arise you to know your worth. And that's a promise I make to you. Because I was sent here to teach. And I'm learning with you. Jonah or Art Michael, please help me do this reading. Thank you for staying here with me. You got the six of pentacles with the world. Oh my God, look at that. The six of pentacles with the world, Pisces. You got a mask on your face. You got a mask on your face. You got the moon and you got the world all at the same time. Damn it. But you got that mask, Pisces. You know, when you wear that mask and it shows the moon, the moon is what you don't want to see. The moon is bringing you to a place where you feel like you are um, not seeing clear, like it's, it's, it's not, it's cloudy, right? But the world is yours, right? And then you're seeing it like this person here is, you got the six of pentacles. That means that either you feel like Somebody is juggling too much and not giving you, but giving other people more than they give you. Or it feels, and there ain't no or in it. I'm sorry, because God said it ain't no or. Okay? That's what he just said to me. It's like, you don't want to accept things for how you see it. And this may be for a certain amount of Pisces that is in situations where things happen to you. But you don't want to see it clear for what it is. It's like you want to sweep it and not see it. Pisces, I'm so sick of doing these same readings for y'all. I'm 
I'm sick of it. I'm going to say it again. The six of pentacles shows a person holding the scales given to two different hands. Look at that. All right? That means he's giving to too many people. Right? But look at you. You got the world and the moon. Honey, you're very confused about your own life. You're confused. You got the world and you can't see yourself because you're looking at something, someone that is not even worth it. That is not worth it. I take God over that anytime. And I don't give a damn what my struggles are. God will always put me through. Rather than to do, deal with this. This is nonsense. Okay? Uh, Alright? Look, look, look at this. Oh my God. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. And I don't never read your cards that are upside down. But, but look at this. Look at this. Damn it. Look at this. Check it out, Pisces. The devil is upside down. And then you got the Ace of Pentacles. You can't get no bigger than this. A1, damn it. But you got the devil. Everything. The devil is a situation where somebody works. Somebody take care of a lot of people. Somebody's doing too much. All right? Partying. Having a good time. Right? Drinking. All right? One thing I'm going to say to you about a Capricorn. They don't love everybody. All right? You better believe that shit when I tell you. They can have a lot of people around them, but they don't love everybody. All right? People may think that they flower little things here. Fly. No, no, no. It's not like that. All right, Capricorns, if they see that they want you, but you are too busy doing other things and you don't give them what they want, like that time and that commitment, like they want to keep you in a commitment, but they want to do what they want to do. And when they see that you're not in a commitment, but they, it's like somebody wants to control you. But they want you to be loyal. Right? But then when you let go of I'm going to do what I want to do. They don't like it. So what they do. They go to the next best thing. Right? But they're workaholics. Right? So now this person turned itself upside down. So now guess what? It ain't no. uh Everything that they work. It's, it's the opposite. It's like you know. I want to, it, it's like somebody's offering you something, offering you this, offering you some type of commitment, offering you a change in a life, whatever you was addicted to. It's like, no, it's like me telling the devil, no, you don't got me. God got me. And then the devil say, but I bow down to you, girl. I'm going to bow down to you. I promise I won't do this no more. I promise I won't act like this no more. Right? And you're looking at this person like, what? This don't even sound right. Or, I'm going to tell you, you better not be doing this with this person or you minds and all this crazy, stupid shit. But the main thing is the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is a new concept of doing something or living away that this person is doing. Sometimes these people say, I'm not going to work as hard and I'm going I'm I'm to I'm I'm make this money. But I want to do it in a different way. All right? Because somebody here look like they helping too many people, family members, whatever it is. They doing too much. And it's like draining them. 
And now maybe they're coming to a way of looking at something different. You know, they say, well, damn, Pisces got it going on by herself. Pisces taking care of herself. Pisces ain't stopping for me. Pisces doing now. So Pisces look like they slipping away. Because Pisces focusing on her money, not on the um, connection that Pisces had with uh, an addiction of a person or a thing or a situation. Ooh, we. All right, God, talk to me. Come on, Pisces. Talk to me, universe. I, I got to stop saying Jonah or I'm Art Michael. The universe is on your cards now. I got to put it in God's hands because God's saying it's me. I speak to you. Come on, baby. I work for you. Oh, my God. You got the charity cancer. Girl, you got Capricorn. You got the world, Leo. You got um, you got a lot to do with your money, with, with how you live it. Well, what's coming to you? All right, Pisces, I love it. All right? And then you show up again. You showing up like the charity. Remember one thing I'm going to tell you. If anybody never told you. The moon represents cancer. And that is really owned by cancer. Cancer is the moon. Don't get it fucking twisted and fucked up. All right? But Pisces can be anyone and anything they want. That's why we... I, I, I just got to say something, y'all. It's like we are so crazy that we don't even know how the world sits in our hand. And that's what makes me so mad. And I want to come to all y'all and jump in your body and let you know how to work it, damn it. Work it, damn it, work it. Shit. Bow, damn it. Shit. What God says, I ain't punishing you. I'm going to just sit you down and show you what you went, what you brought in and what you dealt with. See, God is a merciful God now, damn it. You know? So, you got the charity. And what the charity said, do you see movement here? No, but look at you. What the fuck are you looking at, Pisces? What are you dazing on? Your pinnacles. All right now, shit. Pisces said, damn it, I'm going to look at my pinnacles. And I ain't making no move. No move. I'm going to look at my pinnacles because I don't know what this man is saying. I don't know if he's telling the truth or a lie. But I know one thing. I'm not addicted to your ass. I'm addicted to making my coins and moving on. Yeah, honey, it's like you're doing the same thing that they're doing. You, you running for a goal. You catching a goal. But now you're saying, I'm going to put my energy in what I need to do. Right? To take care of myself. To live right. And rather than to take care of myself and live right. And then giving you my energy. And then I can't even think about everything I need to do. Because I'm giving it to you. And all you're doing is fucking around. And playing games with me. Oh, no, 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 baby. I'm going to put you in a cage. Okay, the devil. And I'm going to move on to do what I want to do because I'm not addicted to you anymore. All right? So it's like you stopped. And you're looking at this person, but you're looking at your, your creativity, what you're doing, what you're bringing to yourself. The universe is giving you the ace of pentacles. And it's telling you that this person... Cannot make you. You making yourself. This person can't build you. This person can't buy you. This person can't do shit. Because that's what they show you. That you're nothing to them. But once you, once you decide that I'm going to change and I'm going to do for myself. Because in reality you ain't doing shit no damn way for me. What the fuck I got to spend my time and sit here and worry about what you doing? Tom, Dick, and Harry fucking around with Susanna, Joanna, and all this, all this bullshit. Oh, I'm at work. I don't give a fuck what you're doing. It's none of my business. But one thing, I need to cut the cord. Right? And move on. And then when you do this, it's like you said, oh my God, God is doing all this for me? Like this devil wants to do this for me? That, but I know God is doing the right thing for me, but I don't believe in this devil. I guess you're not because you've been through it all with this person. Okay? And it shows. Whatever it was, this person looked like they got money, like they work for their money, like they don't play with their money, like they put anybody on a back burner for their money. 
But what the what they failed to realize is the guy says, Pisces, let that shit go because I give you everything you want if you fall in love with me. All right now, damn it. Did you hear what I said? He said, if you fall in love with me, I give you everything you want. And you ain't even got to work hard for it. And then you took a pause and you said, wait a minute, God. Did you just say what I heard? Hmm. Wow. Yeah. Let me just sit here and look at everything for what it is. And this is the charity. The charity is not moving. It is looking at every fucking thing for what it is. I'll be damned. Okay? The universe set your ass down and said, nope. You need time to think about this shit. I mean, if they do it once, they're going to do it twice. And if they do it twice, they're going to do it till you get enough for the boat shit. But I'm promising you everything. Who you down with, me or them? Like I said, who you down with, Pisces? Pisces Studio? Or you want to keep going down with everybody's telling you what somebody's going to do? Somebody's coming back? Somebody's doing this? No, no, I'm telling you what you need to do for yourself. Because at the end of all of this, you ain't taking no, no dick, pussy, or nobody with you. What you, you're not taking your money. You're not taking nothing. What you're taking is your spirit. And that means everything. And it should mean everything to you. Okay? Did you did you get it? Do you understand? Oh, because you need to do some work, baby. Alright? So let's let's move on. Let's move on with this reading. Alright, God. So it's something here that somebody was giving to other people more than you. But the world is yours. But you got the moon here to saying you're undecided. You're still, like, not sure of things. You're still not sure how I'm going to... How do I get the world in my hand when, when I'm all, like, totally confused about how to go about it, how to do it, okay? What to believe, all right? That's on you. But then the devil comes showing up in here and it's upside down. Like, yeah, that motherfucker is upside down. Upside down. Like, bow down to me, damn it. That's what God said, right? And you get the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is what God is giving you. And then you're thinking about all of this because you get the charity. The charity is what moves fast. But check this out. Little did you know that the Ace of Pentacles doesn't move fast either. The Pentacles don't move fast. They, they sure about what they don't do. All right. So like you got this money, but where I, I need my money. I need it to come to me. Right. But the universe is giving it to you. But guess what? You got to do a little bit of work for that money. That's what the universe is telling you. Why don't you take a look at everything you're going through? You can't get it from them. You need to get it for yourself. Oh, my God. I love it. Thank you, God. I need to hear that. All right. So then for the eighth, for the six of pentacles in the world, you got the world, honey. You got the world. You got 21, honey. Right? You get the ace. Again, why is all these eight? Come on, God. Talk to me. You got the ace of one. You got the ace of pentacles, the ace of one, and the world here. You got the charity. You got major arcanas in your reading. This is serious. Right? This give and take. You said, damn it. Give and take. I'm going to... When and when you get to the finish line with the seven, the ace of one, it's like another step you take it to be taking um leadership of your life, a new job, new career, money, whatever it is. To, I don't care if it's a job, career. I don't care what you're doing. You're gaining a new status. All right. It's like things are coming to you from a very unexpected area. And that's also the six of pentacles can say that you're going to get something given to you from an unexpected source that you didn't even see it coming. Do you understand? Because now you got the world and you got the six of wands, which is the, I mean, you got the world and the ace of one. And don't forget you had that six of pentacles. 
All right, so somebody must have been juggling too much. Somebody giving it some, to somebody more than you. But whatever it is that you want, God is giving it to you when you least suspect it. Like it's coming to you and you didn't even see it coming. Because you're running. You're like saying, ready, let's go. Somebody can be losing weight. Somebody can be trying to lose weight. Somebody can be really taking care of their health. I'm not lying. Somebody's doing a major transformation here. Whoa, these, these cars are flying out. What is next with this devil and this ace of pinnacle? You get the six of cup. And you get the page of pinnacles upside down. Check it out. The six of cup is like you, you with this devil energy, with this devil upside down and the ace of pinnacle. It's like you reminiscing about the past with somebody else thinking that you may not get what you had at once upon a time or whatever it is. Well, I don't know what you reminiscing for because whoever this devil was, this energy is, is, uh, is, is literally turning himself upside down. And guess what? Whatever it is that you're going to get. Whatever's meant for you will not pass you. It's like somebody's looking at pictures. Somebody's going through memories. Memory lane. Oh, yes, they are. And it's kind of funny because I told Lisa Robinson that this man was showing the, the whole thing of a death that he experienced. Ain't that something? With me. That's crazy, right? So, it's like all of this energy is coming to the Ace of Pentacles. Now, I'm going to say it again. You, you are very familiar with this, this situation. It's familiar to you. All right? It's not like you don't know. You know it. Because you had an addiction with this person or this situation at once upon a time. It's a lot of memories there. It ain't. Something that you don't, that you, that you just started doing. No, this is memories, honey. All right. A lot of memories. And so the page of Pentacles is saying disconnecting goals, right? Disconnecting from what you need to do. It's like disconnecting from somebody from the past or Reminiscing about something that is old. That you. The page of Pentacles is like saying. I'm, I'm, <coughs> it's a new path. But the page of Pentacles is the only page. That don't move fast. It, it doesn't move fast. It makes sure there is a plan. It's a new path right. So upside down saying that you moving along honey. The money is going to be moving along. And it's a lot of money. It ain't a little bit of damn money. The Ace of Pentacles is huge, girl. I don't know what the fuck you... What? And, and it's the devil here. It's reminiscing about past things. But you got the Ace and you got the Page of Pentacles upside down. The Page of Pentacles make sure their plans is executed. And they don't rush at this plan. And it look like things are moving... Like the plans is moving on. But it's like telling you at the same time, you need to dis dis like you need to, to let go of something. Right? You don't need to let nobody hold you back from what you get. I hope it makes sense to you, Pisces. Tell me more about the Capricorn. Oh shit. The Capricorn. Hard misfortune. Hard misfortune. A man is sitting looking out the window with the whole house caving down on them. And it's a man. Usually it shows a lady, um, you know, carrying a man, right, by a church. Or a lady carrying a baby and the man not giving, no, giving that person help. But it shows a man here, a man with a briefcase. Everything coming down on them. So whatever happened to you. That you felt like you couldn't move from. Because of this life. 
even though you can do it by yourself. Whoever did it to you, they're going through a misfortune. That means things will be slow enough for them. Things are not going to turn out the way they want it. Because Pisces, you looking up in the air, baby. You looking at the, the, the universe. And the universe saying, honey, you need to look at everything I'm giving you and stop tripping. Because you're looking at it like the ace and you running a race, but you but when you run in this race, you also looking at you reminiscing about something, them, it, whatever it was. And can you move on with a plan? Because this person never seems to be moving on with no plans with you. But and because they will whatever they plan they see to do to you, even if they didn't do it intentionally, they're gonna get the rewards for what they did to you. Their whole world is going to cave down. And I don't wish this on nobody. I really don't. I don't wish misfortune on nobody. And I don't care who it is and what you did to me. I don't wish this. But the universe say, I'm the one to take care of everything. And karma don't have no face, no name, no size, no beauty, no nothing. Karma comes right back to whip on somebody's ass. And somebody is going to get their ass whooped for the way they did you. Because you're looking at the sky. You're looking at God. You're saying, Lord, please get me out of this shit. Right? And then you look at it. And one thing you need to do is, Pisces, don't worry about what somebody, how somebody's living and what they're telling you and all this. Live your life because God is taking care of everything you need. And I mean everything you need. And somebody is definitely going to feel that, that nothing will be moving in their life because the way they did it to you was they wanted you to sit still and lied and did all this shit to you and they wanted you to move. They want to keep you blind. They wanted to keep you like you was in murky water. Like muddy water. Like, you know, like you had what that I don't know if that's called lacoma when when that little tissue come over your eye and then you can't see. You know, unless you get that operation, that's exactly what they want to do. They wanted to blind you. But what I'm trying to tell you is you got the universe working on your behalf and you need to take advice from the universe and say, I'm going to take these steps to get me to where I need to be. All right? In my life. To feel comfortable. And that's what, that's what it is. All right? Tell me more about this Ace of Wands. You, Pisces, this is something. So, you got the Ten of Wands on top of this Ace of Wands. Now, check it out. It's a long way to get to that um house. And you both of y'all was carrying a lot of weight on y'all back. A lot of weight. So, this is saying that whoever this person was giving to, it's a lot that they was doing and it's a lot that you was doing. Maybe they was doing it for other people and you was doing it for them. You know what I mean? But they try to put that blindfold over your eye, but you got the world, baby. You you got the world. And you got that ace that you running to the finish line. And when you get to the finish line, glory comes, baby. Glory comes. Hallelujah. Yeah. But why are you making this so difficult? Why don't you give people all, all the weight that don't even belong to you? Give it back. Take it off of your back. All right. And the same thing goes for this person. It's like two people carrying all this weight on their back. And this person don't know how much weight you got in. And, but you know how much shit or whatever they're going through. It's like make it make sense. But you're trying to finish. You're trying to make it to the finish line. You're trying to go up the hill make it to the house. So that you can take all this off your back and sit it on the table. Right? But it's a long ways to get there. And, and you running a race is a long time for you to get to that finish line. It's telling you right here. It's a completion to what you've been going through. 
and you got the world. And I'm not lying. You got a completion with the world, and you got a completion with the ten, and you got a completion with the ace of wands. It's so much completions in this reading, it's not even funny. All right? Tell me more about the six of cups and the page of pentacles. And this can be starting something brand new that you're trying to figure out. How can I get this to move? And it's got money involved, but it also got people that are not good for you. And then it's like you reminiscing or they're reminiscing or somebody's reminiscing about something here. All right. Now look at this shit here. Damn it. You got the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords. You see this man in a Buddha style. You see that he buried the swords upside down. Upside down is not up. It's upside down. That means there is communication coming. Whatever separation it was, all right, whatever cut you to your cord is coming different. Somebody is really humble. Somebody is very wise. Been here many lifetimes before. Somebody's opening the curtains so that you can see that they're coming humble. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And you got history here. And I'm going to say it again to y'all. What I experienced last night. Is everything that's read in this card right now. And that's exactly what they said to me. I love you. I, I, I will do everything in my power for you. And I promise you that. But I am not marriage material. And what did I tell y'all? God will bring me a husband. That's what I said. And you know what? Whatever it is. Whatever change God is going to make, he's going to make it. It's out of my hand. Why? Because he spoke the truth to me. I can't get mad at him because he told me the truth. Right? But that's the life I always lived. I always lived years and years and years and years and years and years with, with, this, with the man. 32 years. And I'm going to say something to you. It's not about a marriage written paper. No, this, this what I want is beyond a written going to the altar. This is going to God's altar. Because God said, I'm going to give it to you with a plus. And that's what God told me. And God don't lie. And that's all I got to say. So whatever it is that you're going through, somebody is bearing the source. And it's reminiscing about everything they ever did. The breakup, the separation, the hurt that they caused. They sit now looking at themselves. Buddha style. And you know Buddha style is me. And I already told y'all, I'm already there. My sister, my sister is meeting me at the table of judgment. I'm not lying to y'all. I'm not crazy. I'm telling y'all the truth. What did he say? You said that you seen yourself dead, but you hear you are alive. He would never understand me in my spirituality because you're air and I'm water. And the world says we cannot mix. It's air and water. 
My birthday is February the 19th. I came into Pisces door with a sword. And I told y'all I'm going out straight out just like this. I take no hostage. All of it is gone. Either all or nothing. It ain't no in between. I told you that. And that's exactly what the universe is saying to you in this reading. Somebody's bearing the swords because they got time to look at things in a different way. And Pisces, you will be in a different place in your life, and that's right now in your life. I'm talking about right now in your life. All right? They might act young, immature, not knowing what they want to do with their plans, always telling you they had a plan and never executed the plan, always changing plans on your ass. You don't know how this person moved. But I'll tell you what, this right here shows it all. You too, this is the card that I want you to show on my reading today. This card, this is the card I want you to pick. Did you hear what I said, you two? This is what I want you to show. And look at this. The next card that fell out for the cancer, all right, charity, and the five of coins. Somebody's going to, this person is going through a lot of hard misfortune. Yes, they are. You know why? Because you bear your soul to this person. You went all in. Like this person is going all in, baby. Like all in. Like, oh my God, my world is caving down without you. Because you are my fulfillment. You are everything I ever wanted. All right now, baby. My world is caving down without you, damn it. <laughs> You are the star, Pisces. I'm not blowing up your head. You are a star. Do you understand? You like the darkness. It's like you've been in a hermit mode so much that like you coming out. I'm coming out. I want the world to know. I got to let it show. You got the world, you got the star, all right? You got the charity, you got the ace of pentacles, you got the ace of wands. What the hell? What? Pisces, come on now. You got it all right in your hand. You just got to choose you. And when you choose you, I'm going to keep showing you who you choose. God. What did he say? I'm not built for marriage. That's what he told me. And I said to him, but I told God, I have, I'm having a husband. I don't know what you're talking about, but I know what I told God. And God told me, I will come to you with a plus. And that's what he said. And it's not about Walking to an altar or putting, writing, signing a piece of paper. This is an altar that's above all. Earth. Did you hear what I said? It's an altar that sits above all. Earth. And God said. Lisa Ramos will be married and you will see the wedding and he will turn all my nose to yes because that's what he said. If you live by me, I will give you everlasting life and y'all better understand what I'm saying. I'm not just saying this to say it. I'm telling you what's in this reading and I said that God came and said, Art right, Michael Jordan, Art, right, sit down. I'm doing Pisces reading today. And that's what he did. So, everything 
that you listening to, if you don't understand what I'm saying, you better listen to this reading over and over and over and over again. That God promised can't nobody, nobody demolish what God has for you. But you got to pick who you want. Because the devil already is bowing down to you. Bowing to you. All right, Pisces? Check it out, Pisces. I don't hate on nobody. You know I don't hate on nobody. There's enough for everybody in this world. Pick who you want. Because God always has me. I'll talk to you later, Pisces. I love you all. Thank you for staying to the end. Have a great day and be blessed. Bye-bye.